Hi. Once upon a time, there was a crow that lived in a forest. One day, he saw a beautiful white swan, a family giving him food and taking pictures of him. So he thought to himself, that swan must be the happiest bird in the world. So he flew over to the swan and told him, you're so white and so beautiful, and I'm so dark. You must be the happiest bird in the world. How does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The swan replied, I used to think I was the happiest bird in the world until I saw a parrot. The parrot I saw had two colors and I only have one. You should go and ask the parrot, what does it feel like to be the happiest bird in the world? So the crow flew over to the parrot and asked, how does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The parrot replied, I used to think I was the happiest bird in the world until I saw a peacock. The peacock has many colors while I only have two. You should go and ask the peacock, how does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The last time I saw him, he was at the zoo. So the crow flew over to the zoo and he saw hundreds of people taking pictures of the peacock. He waited until everybody left and he flew over and asked the peacock, Dear peacock, you are so beautiful. Every day hundreds of people come and visit you. But when they see me, they chase me away. You must be so happy. How does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? And the peacock replied, I always thought I was the happiest bird in the world. But because of my beauty, I'm trapped in this cage. With all this time by myself, I got to notice that the only bird that is not placed in a cage is a crow. So the past few years I've been thinking to myself, the crow must be the happiest bird in the world, free to roam wherever he wants. So my friend, I must ask you, how does it feel to be the happiest bird in the world? The cycle of comparing ourselves to other people is a never-ending cycle. The game where we compare ourselves to other people is a game that we can never win. In the end, the person that is satisfied with what they have is the happiest person in the world. I think it's okay to strive to improve the quality of life, but if you're doing it and you are not seeing the value of what you have, I think that is a mistake. But if you strive and also see the value in the things that you have already, that's absolutely fine with me. So maybe what we can do today is think about three things we may have overlooked and be thankful for them. You may have your health. You may have time to spend with your family and friends. You may have time for your hobbies. You may have just started doing something new, chasing your dreams. So don't compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 20. If we're running in a race and we focus on the people running beside us or ahead of us, you may lose motivation. You may slip and fall just by looking at them. So the best thing to do is to just focus on yourself and run your race at your pace because your finish line is not in the same place as everybody else's. I hope this story can help you or somebody that you love.